Newport on Friday, Good Friday. How is the squad heading into that one? <laughs> yeah, everybody's uh, looking to play, obviously, the, with the things that have been going on the last week or so. Yeah, everyone's looking forward to it, you know, another game. So yeah, let's get let's get at them. Be a tough game. A good side, good people down there. A good crowd there. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, Newport are fighting for that last seventh place, which is tightly contested between quite a few teams. Does that give your side any more motivation? Do you think to try and spoil someone's party if we can't be there ourselves? No, because what's to say we can't be there? Mm. Another silly question, because we're still fighting to get as high as we can, aren't we, Ash? We are, yeah. See. So no, game on, mate. All the while we got breath in us, mate. We're stuck. We're going, but you know, people ain't going to pay money. Supporters, I don't want people to come down there and think that we ain't going to have a try. Of course we are. We're going to be trying and trying to get points all the way. You know, you're cruelly football club. You're not the dog and duck. We want to win every game. Yeah, speaking of winning every game, we're only, I think, it's seven points off our total from last year. Is that sort of a personal aim for yourself to just sort of smash that out of the water? <laughs> not really, no. No, my smashing out the water is uh, getting as high as we can and seeing the lads do well. Long way to go yet. Cool. Yeah, Joel Lynch obviously returned. It's good to see him get some minutes. Is that a sign of good things to come from the injuries or are we still sort of struggling with a lot out? I'm not going to talk about the injury because as soon as we say something, we jinx ourselves. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm you know, superstitious, nothing touch wood. But um, no, it's just... It's good to see people coming back and... <laughs> Let's just hope that we get the season out of the way with no more injuries and everybody finishes the season fit and well. Are you sort of touching it at the start? Saturday's win was the first of a new era. I'm sure Wagme were delighted with the performance. Have you had a chance to speak to them this week? I have, yes. Yeah, yeah. of course they are. You know, They've come in here. There's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of work to be done behind the scenes. But they're good people, you know, and, and they're, they're back it. Um, we just got to keep winning. That's our, our job. It's just to win games. How they fund it and do what they've got to do that's you know they're honest people so we just got to trust them and back them yeah obviously the easter weekend's always an exciting time for fans obviously you get that double header one on the friday one on the monday i'm sure we'll be seeing plenty out there at newport at the weekend fans yeah. yeah hope we do yeah hope we do hope we see a lot here on monday as well and let's hope we give them something to cheer about let's hope nadas gets his couple of hat tricks or something <laughs> like that and we'll all be cheering due one he's due one he's due one let alone an hat trick <laughs> Yeah, no, obviously we spoke to John about the start of this new era. How has the reaction been in the change room to the news of the new takeover? Yeah, obviously it's been speculation for a while and I feel like it's been good. It's good buzz. It's been a great buzz around. Training's been more intense and it's something that we've looked forward to and happy that it's obviously got over the line in the end. Yeah, obviously. We're approaching that sort of the end of the season now. Is there any more personal goals that you've got for yourself, do you think, from now until the end of the season? Obviously to push high as tight as we can. Obviously, as Gavin said, the playoffs aren't out of push, but it's going to be a tough struggle, but if anyone could do it, we can do it. And obviously, personally, obviously, I want to score more goals. Obviously, be up there with uh, Quez and Nico into double figures, but hopefully that can change on Friday. Yeah, we spoke to Quez after the game. He said it's been great, you three, sort of getting that partnership back together that you had at the start of the season. Obviously, injuries have prevented that throughout the season, but how good is it linking up with those three again? Yeah, obviously, we, all three of us give something different. Obviously, you've got the hold-up player with Quez, Nicky, and Nico, and um, hit them both in the, air, in the air really good. And obviously, you've got me stretching the play and trying to bring them into play. And, it's worked really well and obviously hopefully that can continue and we all play different positions, sometimes we play out wide, sometimes you play with different strikers and different formations and yeah, it's really worked well with us three. Yeah, is the Easter weekend something you relish as a player? Obviously it's a little bit kinder to us this year, I mean last year I think we had just got back from Carlisle on the Tuesday night before <laughs> heading to Scunthorpe on the Friday but yeah, two games in quick succession must be a good feeling. Yeah, obviously you have limited training but I don't think that, that really matters, but two games in quick concession, we, we look forward to it and obviously hopefully we can come away with uh, six points. Yeah, obviously, as John said, another chance to see the fans on two more occasions. How impressed have you been with them this season? Yeah, home and away they've been uh, unreal, obviously following to teams like Barrow and obviously even the local ones like Orient, they've, they've been singing all game, 90 minutes, home and away, and yeah, it's really good to see. Cool, thank you guys, Cameron. Yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, John, the first game under the new owners and it was a win, was it kind of the mood a bit different um, after the game? Uh, no, a win's a win. You want that winning feeling all the time, you know. It was good. They, they, you know, they've invested a lot of money in a football club, and it was good to kick off for them with a win because you only get the one chance to make an impression. And we've we've started their regime with a win. Um, long may it continue. Last time we played uh, Newport, it was it was one one. It was a late equaliser from them. 
it kind of spurring you on to, to go and make sure you get the three points this time? No, because it's different sides, different things. That's gone. You can't influence that. We can only influence what's going to happen on Saturday. We went there last year and, and got battered a little bit, to be fair. Um, good side, you know, don't underestimate them. They'll be looking up for it. Um, you know, but I'm sure that our lads, Nadders and that especially, once they've opened their eggs, and, you know, no, you don't open them till Sunday, do you? No. He gets spaced ones, you know, <laughs> in the tills and all that. They get the old nin nin ones. So, no, everyone's looking forward to it. Um, they've kind of been struggling in front of goal recently, whereas on the other hand you've scored in seven consecutive games. Is that something that you've thought about going to this game? That Not really, because we should have been scoring a lot more. Um, and, you know, they're a good side. They work ways to get the ball in the net, I'm sure. But it's all about what we do. You know, we've got ways that we want to play. And But once again, I keep saying it all season, and Nads, I tell you, we haven't been able to put the same side out. 85% of the games this year, we haven't been able to pick from all our players. Never heard of it before in my life, but 85% of all the games we've had to make changes. And I just think when you look back on it, it's a compliment to the lads. And, you know, sometimes you're just sitting there and I know, I know some of them look at me sometimes thinking I'm giving them a lot of rubbish, but you do have to sort of like chop it around because you're getting players coming back who are not fit, that you don't want to get injured and then you've got to change them around for, like, for argument's sake, Monday, then we've got to go again Saturday and then we go. It's good though, you're in football, you're not working down a coal mine, are you? The, the Easter weekend is a busy one, but is it something that you look forward to as a manager or is it a bit of a nightmare for you? Well, I don't give a monkeys, to be quite honest with you, it's no busier than any other weekend. Um, it's a game's a game, you're playing football, you know, you're playing football for a living, the lads are doing it for a living. We'll be saying that in about five, six weeks when everyone's jetting off somewhere. Now you're going to Saint Tropez or somewhere, right? <laughs> That's Saint Lucia. Saint Lucia. I knew it was beginning with a saint. Um, no, so that's what you work for. That's what the boys work hard for. They work hard. You enjoy your rest as much as you do, and they do work hard. And like I say, now we've got a squad of about 19 fit players, um, which has got to see us through. That's what we've got, and that's what we are, and that's why the lads. Good thing is, I said to you, we're all together, win or lose. Actually, we see with the takeover coming last week. Has there been a different atmosphere in the, in the changing room? I don't think much has changed. Obviously, we our goal is just go out and get three points every time. Whatever happens in the background happens. But I don't think it's been on anyone's mind really. And obviously, we're just out there to get the three points. It's, it's your highest goal scoring return of Corey so far. Eight in a minute is, is ten the aim, or are you just going to try and get as many? As you can? Obviously, I take it game by game. But obviously, you want to get into double figures as quick as you can. And I think. Max last year was mental on like 16 or something before Christmas and obviously that's obviously the aim and see where he's gone but yeah obviously Nico and Quez has done unreal to be in double figures and that's that's why I aim to be here hopefully soon. Yeah, it's the Easter weekend again, same as I said to John, is it something that you look forward to as a, as a player, kind of the, just the games after one off another so, so quickly? I'm, I'm a player that would, would rather play than, than probably train than a whole week but uh, I'm happy to have quick games, quick succession obviously as I said before hopefully come away with six points in two games. Yeah, playing against a team uh, who are you know, in a position that, that you could look to at the end of the season, is that quite exciting to play them? Yeah, obviously we do better against the so-called uh, bigger teams above us and hopefully we take their challenges in, in our stride and hopefully that's where we can be either this season or even the next season pushing on. Yeah, so obviously we strive to be somewhere like that. Sorry. Tim? Oh yeah, start with reaction as well. Yeah, on that note, actually, I mean, obviously, a good solid professional win against against Barrow at home, and now again going to a big side, and you've done so well as a squad against the big sides. I mean, is it a different mindset? Is it extra motivation, or is it just you know, how have you done so well against some of the bigger sides? I don't think it's anything mentally or physically. I just feel like. It's just little costly mistakes that have cost us against the smaller teams compared to the, the bigger teams. And uh, we just need to start taking advantage of uh, goal scoring opportunities because we, we get loads of goal scoring opportunities and we switch off for one second and people capitalise on that. And I feel like that's what we need to just try and put to bed, really. How do you look at your tally? Eight this season. Uh, you've now got you know, the three strikers, real competition at the club, isn't it? Yeah, obviously, we every single training session we try and push each other to the to the max, and even with uh, Remy out as well, he was doing well before he got injured. So it, as as it is, it's a competition for places, and obviously, with the high competition, you get good rewards. With obviously, the three of us getting good uh, returns for goals. And 
Do you want to get double figures? Yeah, obviously, yeah. Hopefully as quick as possible. Yeah, and, and your season, how do you look at it personally? How, how do you reflect on how well you've played this season? Is there a lot more to come? I know that John's really building a squad now that if you can all be fit at the same time, as he said, the sky's the limit next season, potentially. Yeah, personally, I probably didn't start the season very well, obviously getting get sent off twice in two successive games. But probably since the new year, I feel like I've become an, like, a better person, better player. And obviously working with the, the strikers and obviously Youngie and the gaffer, obviously we've push, pushed ourselves forward and we're striving for more. John, as you mentioned, how well you've done against some of the bigger sides. I mean, Newport County on Friday, the first of two games, very different tests, I guess, but... As you say, you just want to win, don't you? Yeah, every game is, is what the pressure you put on ourselves. We try, as I say to you, we don't care who you're playing. You go out there and try and win it. Um, and that's just, he, he touched on a few of the mistakes. We, we have given give some ridiculous, stupid goals away this year. But we've also had some stupid, ridiculous misses. Um, it, it goes, it, it evens itself out. You know, Nadas is on eight goals, he should be on 28 goals. And he, and he knows that, but he keeps creating the chances and they're calm. You know, it's easy for us to say, why did he score this or why didn't we do that? The same way as it's easy as... Defender can make one mistake and he's had a terrible game. Nads and the strikers can miss 20, 20 chances each, score one, and everyone goes, what a good game they had, if you win. It's different pressures, but they, you know, he keeps striking, he keeps trying, he keeps doing what he's doing. And uh, hopefully a little bit all, all bode well for next season. Finally, John, as a manager this time of year, I guess everyone who hasn't got a contract or a future is playing for that. Is, there, is it quite easy to motivate the squad you know, in the final few weeks of a season for you as a manager? You know. Yeah, well, the thing is, if it, you ain't going to learn nothing about anybody within the next two weeks. You know, Most of them, have, I've been here two and a half years now. And if the people are not motivated to sign contracts or want new contracts, well, then shut the door on the way out. It's simple. Because there's loads of other people that want to come here, I can assure you of that. Am I happy with what we've got here? You're always looking to get better, you're always looking to get stronger, but Nads will tell you, I think I've been fair and the boys have definitely been fair with me, they've tried every, every time. And it's, it's all rosy going forward, I can't get into people's heads of what they want and, you know, money-wise. As long as people don't think because we've got the new owners have come in that we're going to be throwing money around like confetti, because I can assure you we won't. Um, and I can assure you I won't be, i tell you that for nothing. People come in and earn it, then they get rewarded. It's all about reward for your return. You know, it's not going to be suddenly become the Salvation Army where you come in as a charity. No, you've got to come here and earn it. And if you earn it, you'll get it. Simple. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your strengths, both of you. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> hope, you, hope you've sent that as one, Tim, from the BBC. <laughs> little bunny ears. Little bunny ears one. <laughs>